Hey there, handsome. Let's uh, let's build a very, very fast we truck. We are on a mission, and that mission is building a reliable engine using nothing but Timu. Yeah, yeah, Timu, the Chinese place. <laughs> uh, dude, this is gonna be a disaster. I already know this is gonna be a disaster. But the first part to our plan is we have to drive out there and find a block. I saw a block on Facebook Marketplace for 500 bucks. It comes with a lot of extra goodies and I figured I cannot lose here. So we're gonna throw a whole bunch of Timo parts on this and build it. So now let's set out, let's go pick up an engine and let's build a cheap LS. This is what I hate about Florida. It's freaking dark already. And literally a two hour drive is nighttime so I really couldn't show the engine. But I think I got a freaking steal. The engine's in the back. My dude gave me the whole freaking engine stand, the heads, like everything. Let me let me just show you. And here it is. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Check this freaking thing out. Like, dude, what a score. My dude even gave me the whole freaking engine stand. Like, dude, heck yeah. Well, boys, it is super late at night. I just got home. We picked up the new engine and we're kind of cleaning the garage because right now, well, I really don't have a lot of room. So long story short, I actually bought another engine earlier this week and this thing is completely rusted. I'm letting it sit in vinegar, hoping that it takes some of the rust away. And I decided not to use it. We have all the Timu parts sitting right here. We have the hoist ready. Let's move the truck backwards and let's pull the engine out. And the engine is now fully inside of the garage. We have all the parts on here. This thing is ready for tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna build this whole engine in one video with nothing but Timu parts. I'm gonna put all the links down below and I'm gonna show you how much is, it's gonna cost me total to cam and rebuild this engine. And it's early in the morning. My mechanic buddy is here to help me out. <laughs> it's time to build the Timu LS. Dude, I wonder if this is gonna work. We're about to find out. All right, so what do you think about this engine? It's way better. There's really? No scoring. It's, 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 you can see the cross hatches, so you're fine. Step one, we're actually going to be removing the oil pan just to check the main bearings, just to make sure this engine is solid. So let's remove the oil pan. Oh, yes, it's dry. That, that's, that's good for me because I don't want to make a mess. That's good. That's really good. No scoring? What are we looking for? Just for any kind of scoring or anything you feel with your fingernail. This is good. That's fine. So far, it seems like this engine's really healthy and we got lucky. Everything looks good underneath the engine. So now that's a clear indicator. We're just going to start taking it apart and putting it back together with Timu parts. For science. For science. <laughs> Ricardo is now cleaning the top of that or the bottom of the engine so we can throw a new oil pan gasket and seal it forever. As he's doing that, I'm actually gonna remove this front cover here so we can remove the cam. I did remove the crank pulley already. Here it is. We're gonna remove this so we have access to the cam and we're gonna completely pull it out. Lifters are now out, so now we're gonna remove all of this here. Oh, easy, wow, shocking. Yeah, we're definitely gonna upgrade that with a Timu one. Now, this is the last thing we need to remove. Last thing right here. There we go, the cam is right there. There it is, boys, there it is. Now the weird part is a lot of people don't know how to remove the cams and it's actually a lot easier than you would imagine. You literally pull the freaking thing out. That's, that's all you do, there's nothing else holding it. Once you get that retainer plate off, it's as simple as just pulling it out, but you gotta pull it very carefully, very slowly, because you don't wanna damage anything on the inside of the engine, which could be, be, could be possible if you force it out. This thing is out. So what do you think? It's in good condition. So everything so far, like I got a good deal on this. Oh man, even in the inside, it looks really nice. Dude, let's throw the Timu, Timu cam in. Before we throw the Timu cam in, I kind of want to show you this retainer plate. 
This thing clearly looks like they spray painted an old one. I got this from Timu for like 10 bucks. You can see the rust poking out here. If we turn it around, you can see a ton of rust. It looks like these guys had an old one laying around. They spray painted it just to sell it. And then they put silicone on their fingers and just applied it on top of the old seal to make it look new. How is this? The Timu cam is going in. $160 cam going inside of a $500 engine. This is definitely going to blow up. <laughs> Dang, man. That is insane. Look at that. And just like that, the $160 cam is officially inside. <laughs> that is crazy. Ricardo, what do you think? Is it going to last or no? It'll last. So he's saying it'll, he'll last. I honestly feel very confident it's going to last as well. I mean, like he said, how can you mess up a piece of metal, you know? A lot of these factories make them and just rebrand the same thing. So who knows? Maybe this came out of the original company that sells them as a brand name cam. So it looked good to me. It, it is inside. You can clearly see the cam in there now. So we're just going to keep building. This thing is cammed already in just a couple minutes and it's cammed. I got to keep telling myself this is for science. This is for science. This is for science, even though it hurts me so bad. But this dude right here convinced me to just kind of send the thing. He was like, dude, this is the whole point. Stop trying to do it right. Essentially, it's not doing it right just to see if it works. I was originally against using this retainer plate here because it looks like they spray painted it, painted an old one and just put silicone on an old seal. I'm going to say screw it. I'm going to send it. We're just going to put all our faith in Timu and hope for the best. Now let's put the valley cover together. So we are using this Timu gasket kit and these gaskets, I'll be honest, look incredible. I will probably buy these a lot more often. I just threw on the new timing chain, the new gear, and the new sprocket, so let's tie in it. Dude, this stuff is actually kind of good. There we go. And it's officially installed. This thing is coming out so freaking good. Next, the oil pump goes in place. So once you kind of throw the oil pump in place, you simply have to thread the bolts hand tight. Don't use a ratchet for this. Don't use an impact literally hand tight get close with your hand now all you have to do is rotate this 360 degrees so pretty much make the dots touch again now that we have the oil pump installed we're gonna go around and start installing the whole bottom end of this so we can throw the oil pan and seal it forever now let's torque the oil pan there we go we're almost done man So essentially, this is what I'm going to do. We have a vertical line. If I want 90s, it has to be horizontal. A little bit more. There we go. 90 degrees. It's horizontal. It's hard to see, but I'm going to do it a little bit more. But that's essentially how I degree it without a degree gauge. Now they're all horizontal according to the instructions. Now we have to do a 90 degree pass on all the outer ones, all the inner ones except for the inner outers. These have to be 50 degrees. So 50 degrees for this one, 50 degrees for this one over here, everything else 90. So I'm gonna go and make everything vertical except for these two. Now it's time to do the outer. These are just 22 foot pounds. One. And we now have a team engine. Holy cow, man. This is an engine. This is a freaking engine. Bam! Dude, that is so crazy. Everything from Timu. Everything. The only thing not Timu on this is the rods, pistons, and that and the crank. Everything else, the heads, everything was built from Timu. <laughs> this thing's gonna blow up. It's time for the push rods. Make sure to grease them up. There we go, there's one. Now let's torque the stock intake. There we go. This thing is coming out so freaking gnarly, man. Intake is now on. 
coils are on, valve covers are on, rockers are on, the heads are on, and to top it off, we just got an awesome package from Timu. We ordered this about two weeks ago. Timu is, is very, very slow. And in this package, we should hopefully have the little mod that is gonna give us the power that we want. So let's open this up and let me show you what I got because it was dirt cheap. It's the cheapest thing I've ever seen. And um, hopefully it's a real deal because I want to brag and say that I got this for this price. And yeah, hopefully it's a real deal. Now for the Timu headers. There's one. I am not gonna lie as much as I want to hit on this the fitment. Oh my gosh, man The fitment is actually really good Dude come on now every bolt aligns properly the header looks pretty decent for 160 bucks This thing is cammed has headers springs retainers Dude 160 bucks. We have a fully assembled LS engine I can't even make this up. As we're building this engine, I actually had uh, FedEx show up with another Timu package, and this is the last one to finish this whole engine off, and it was dirt cheap. Like, I have no idea how these guys are making money. Maybe every company out there is finessing us and charging a lot more just to have the brand, brand like, engraved on the product, but let me show you what I just picked up. We got these aftermarket rockers. I think a lot of people call them turnian, turnins. I don't even know. But these, unlike the OEM ones, are actually built to uh, handle high horsepower because apparently these tend to come apart in engine bays from high mileage and from too much power. So a lot of people replace them because these stock ones here end up like breaking and falling apart. There's no ring holding any of this together. So over time, these are known to actually fall apart and break. So uh, yeah, I wanted to try these aftermarket ones out from Timu. I paid, I think $89, which is insane because similar ones are going for like almost 400 bucks. I bought a set for my other truck that I think it was like 350. So yeah, that is crazy. Let's throw these on and let's hope they don't blow the engine up. Now let's briefly just time these with the impact. This is gonna get close. Now, before we actually torque these to spec, which is 22 foot pounds, you need to actually move the crank and we need to put them at their highest point. So we're gonna start with this one. I'm gonna go turn the crank and you're gonna see it kind of lift up and then we can torque it down. You're gonna see it nicely go up. As you can see, it's going up. And we're gonna put it at its highest point. So you're gonna have to keep turning the crank until it doesn't go up anymore. Now you simply, there we go, 22 foot pounds. Now we gotta go and do that to every single one. And we're all done, so all I have to do is put it back together, and this thing is pretty much done. And just like that, boys and girls, the Timu engine is now together. Is this gonna blow up? Maybe. Is it gonna run awesome? Maybe. I've never seen anyone put an engine with nothing but Timu, so we don't know as of now, but right now, this engine is finally put together and she's ready to go either in a dyno or into a car. Also, for the people that are gonna be wondering how much money I spent in this whole thing, well, there's two prices I did the math. If you buy a block like I did for 500 bucks, it's gonna come out to $1,300, $1,355. If you already have an engine just lying around, it's gonna be around $755 or $855, depending how far you go into it. I could have definitely done this for a lot cheaper, like 600 bucks, but I wanted to get stuff that looks somewhat good, and dude, we are freaking done. This upcoming Saturday, I'm going to take this engine out to RT Performance. It's a shop in Arcadia, Florida. We're going to throw it on an engine stand. We're going to get it started, and we're going to see if the Timu engine actually freaking... super early in the morning, and I kind of just forgot to record for a tiny bit. But the engine is done and now we're gonna test it out in this video. We're gonna see if the Timu engine actually freaking runs. This thing is sitting right here in the back of my truck. We're gonna hit up a local shop call, called RT Performance in Arcadia, Florida that has like a little engine run stand. <laughs> Dude, imagine this thing freaking runs. I have less than $700 in this whole engine. Hopefully it doesn't go anywhere. We're gonna take it to RT Performance. We're gonna see if it runs. And if the team was worth the money, so let's head out. About 30 minute drive. 
and I'll keep you guys updated. This this is gonna be good. And we're here to RT performance. Let's drop the engine onto the stand and let's see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. Engine is now coming off. We're gonna replace this one with the Timu one over here. And like I said again, I got high hopes. I'm sure this thing is gonna run perfectly fine. We will see. That one's coming off and this one's going on. For the people that don't know, you saw me build this whole thing a few days ago, which Timu cam, valve springs, uh, head gaskets, pretty much everything. I have total invested in this engine, 700 bucks. We're gonna run it and see if it actually turns on for the first time, which I hope it does because the plan is to throw it into an S10. So if it runs, we're gonna have fun with it. If it doesn't run, it was a good experiment and now we know, don't buy Timu. So we're about to find out. The truth, let's see if this thing will fire on for the first time. Alright, so we have a little mistake here. But I'm happy to say, it looks like it's not the Timo parts. I thought it was my head gasket because it looks like it's leaking here. It's actually this fuel injector up here that's leaking, so <sighs> thank you. So far we're good, so far we're good. I had a mini heart attack, but we're good so far. She sounds so good. And look at the headers. They turn like almost goldish bronze. That is such a sick color. How are the vitals from you what you were old, seeing? You got old pressure. You got, we got, it was close to temperature. I'd like to run it a little bit longer, but everything looks pretty good. Damn, man. That sounded sick. Dude. <laughs> For all the doubters, look, look at it now. I mean, so far it's running. The real question is, how long is it going to go for? But so far it looks good. Any mixture in there? No. Nope, so I did the head gaskets right. <laughs> oh man, I am stoked. That is so sick. $700 engine, it runs. Great for a donor. Dude, that is amazing. That is sick. I'm, I'm stoked. And we're officially back home. Oh my gosh, dude. I am so excited. This engine had great oil pressure. It sounded freaking great. So this no-name Timu cam is actually a cam. It sounded like it was cammed. RT performances, all the vitals were perfectly. It was running smoothly. There is no noise. There is nothing wrong with this. How is it possible I built this thing for $700, cammed it, replaced everything, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with it? Oh my gosh, this is, in this is insane. Now you're probably wondering the same thing I'm wondering. Yes, it runs. Yes, it sounds like a cam, but... How long will it sound like that and how long will it survive? Well, in order to figure this out, if you didn't see the headers already, <laughs> we are going to be picking up a vehicle for this engine tomorrow and uh, you guys are just going to have to wait. So we built the engine, it runs, and tomorrow we're going to go pick up a special vehicle for this engine. So. This is going to be insane. The goal is to put it in this and in this vehicle and drive it all the way to the tail of the dragon, which is 700 miles, about 11 hour drive, and see if this Timu engine can make it. If you want to see the rest of this journey, follow, subscribe, like it up. Dude, this has been an amazing day.